Does this even need an introduction? How can I How can I refuse? The 5th Annual 420 Awards, hosted by yours truly, Derek Savage. You do not know how excited I am to watch this. And to get your first question out of the way, why am I dressed like Oppenheimer? This isn't a Barbie movie. Well, I'm not fully dressed like Oppenheimer, because I don't got the sunglasses, and usually under this Hawaiian shirt, I wear this colorful Bob Marley shirt. But this time... Derek, you can't get mad at me. I bought all your shit. Well, my dumbass completely forgot to explain the actual reason I was dressed like this. The reason is stoner look. This is the closest thing I could think of to a stoner look. Some of you might agree. Some of you might not agree. I don't fully agree, but it was the closest thing I could come up with. So for those of you who aren't fully aware of what the 420 Awards is, Derek Savage, creator of Cool Cat, made an award show that makes no goddamn sense. And usually, this is supposed to take place on 420, April 20th, but at the time of recording this, it is August 22nd. Derek, what the f***? And that's not even the weirdest thing. He's only done three of these. So somehow, we've gone from the third annual 420 awards to the fifth annual 420 awards. I don't know if he just forgot that he didn't do a fourth one, or he thinks we're so goddamn stupid that we're not going to remember that he didn't do a fourth one. But to catch you up a little bit on the previous 420 awards, <clears throat> Incredibles 2 won Best Stoner Movie, because of course that's what Pixar's intention was with that movie. Emma Stone was Emma Smith. Ariana Grande was Andre Grande. There was a guy in a hazmat suit that was supposed to be both Keanu Reeves and Taylor Swift. Cats won Favorite Movie and was up against Oscar nominees. And this one's probably my favorite, hands down. James Corden was nominated for Hottest Actor, but lost to John Travolta, whose most recent movie at the time was The Fanatic. Yeah, well, don't play a nice. All right, you're gonna help me make some fucking cash, bitch. I wish that Freddy Krueger would come and chop off your head, and it would roll in the street. And a truck would squish it, and the blood would splatter everywhere, and everyone would watch it! <laughs> oh, and who can forget Gang Rape Guy? Just the dude just yelled Gang Rape at one point. It was a gang rape, and he pulled me off the guy. Come on, let him hear. It's a joke! It's 420! Ah! But I'm too excited to watch this, so let's get started. And I got my little bitch award with me. You will see what I'm talking about that halfway through this movie special thing, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Death by Derek. Let's go! Come on, Derek! Give it to me, Daddy! Well, I guess it's not the 420 Awards, I guess it's the movie awards now. Or the Music Awards. Pick one, Derek! Welcome to the 420 Awards, and here's the producer of our show, Derek Savage! Oh, oh wow! wow! Hello and welcome yeah. to the 5th Annual 420 Awards. I'm looking at today as just an absolutely spectacular and beautiful day, and that's because we finally got all that coronavirus crap behind us. Just like kicked it right out of here. And yeah, coronavirus just doesn't exist anymore. Just to prove that, we got a special performance coming for you guys just a little bit later. And it's a very wild singer singing his hit song, Coronavirus is a Scam. Is it Clifford? But you know what? I'm not getting political here with the 420 wards. No, no, no. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, this is not political at all. Even though you just mentioned coronavirus. So guys, if you want all that woke stuff, then you should go watch the Oscars or the... <laughs> oh no, Derek! And, and to me, I mean, I'm telling you, there's just nothing better than a good kick-ass movie. I thought he was about to say a good kick in the ass. <laughs> and for the 420 Awards favorite kick-ass movie, our nominees are The Gray Man. Gold, The Contractor, 
Top Gun Maverick and Interceptor. Interceptor? Oh my god. Oh wait, it's actually a movie called Interceptor. I'm sorry, I thought he meant Interstellar. Raise your hand if you also thought that. Also, I've only heard of like two of these movies. And the winner for the 420 Awards favorite kick-ass movie is... Whoa, 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 hold on. Before he says what it is, I'm just gonna take a wild shot in the dark, it's gonna be Top Gun Maverick, and he's gonna promote that f***ing Harrier jet that he wants to have sex with. Hey, all right. Top Gun Maverick. Partially right. Top Gun Award. Ugh. Oh no. Who is it? To accept this fine award in behalf of the studios is the real movie star of Hollywood, yeah. And you know who that is. That's the Doobie Doo! Come on out here, Doobie Doo! Yay! What the f is a bloody tampon? Well, thank you, everyone. And in behalf of the studios, we thank you for this award. Go Top Gun. Go Hitler. So, uh, Doobie Dude's gonna accept all these awards, right? This is fantastic, guys. I just love Doobie Dude. Every time I see him in a Hollywood project or whatever, it just puts a smile on my face. And that's what 420 Awards is all about. It's making you feel good. All right. I want everyone down in the comments below to put down your top 10 favorite Doobie Dude movies. If you have seen all of our 420 Awards, you know there's one man in particular that we have had in all of our shows. Gang Rape Guy. Ah, oh, Gang Rape Guy! Let's go! This guy never blinks! Two stoned hope here. Good to be here at the 420 Awards, ladies and gentlemen. Later on, we're going to have Anita Ekberg who's going to roll around with some flour for you. Hey, good to be here. I'm Stephen Pearl. I'm not really Bob Hope. Don't be fooled. He's dead. Good to be here at the 420 Awards for my favorite medicine on earth. It's good for you. It's natural. It doesn't hurt anyone. Stay away from that bad stuff. The hard stuff. Ooh, cocaine. Ooh, cocaine. Using tomorrow's energy today. Ooh. At least we... At least he finally admitted that he's on cocaine. Nobody gets violent on it. You ever see a pot fight in your whole life? I haven't. You know, what's the worst crime that ever occurred on pot? Yeah. Hey, who stole my chips ahoy, man? Oh, he's getting violent. He's getting the feather. Look out. I'm going to have to tap you with this, man. He's out of control. He's out of control. Anyway, uh, you know, the, the, I've, I've done that cocaine. It's really bad for you. I have, uh, uh, one thing about cocaine. One Coming from a guy who's clearly on it. But Americans, the metric system, that's how we learned it. We didn't learn it from school. I wasn't listening in school, it was the drugs. That's right, how many kilometers in a mile? I don't know. How many grams in an ounce? Swing it, you son of a bitch, and don't show me, I'll kill you. Jesus, oh, okay. okay. The sun goes up, the sun goes down, the sun goes up, the sun goes down, the sun goes up, the sun goes down. Monday becomes Thursday, no, we're there, man, I need more. Ah! I didn't call it Coke, I call it more. But marijuana is so good. I'm terrified. And you feel good. Nobody, you know, people get get drunk. They drink. They want to fight. Come on, put up your dukes. They do cocaine. Give me them shoes, motherfucker. You know. What is he talking about? Crime. There is no crime. Yeah, people. Uh, you know, people drive drunk. They kill people. Stone drivers don't because you're going too slow. You ever been behind a stone driver in your whole life? Ayuga, ayuga, old car. Ayuga. Oh, I thought that was a sign for grabbing ass. Let's move it. Oh my God. Uh, it's crazy, folks. So, uh, I'm not high now. I don't get high before I perform. I tried that one. Bulls, you ain't high. Nobody can talk that friggin' fast. Well, besides that one guy who played that Transformer in Transformers the movie. Oh, anyone got Hendrix tickets? What? He did when? Uh, what about Janice? Get out of here, Rainbow. And, uh, I was in Berkeley. It was a nice full room. Nice people. Like the people watching you, people watching. Somebody gave me a joint before the show of this Berkeley skunkweed mindfucker grown on Neptune bud. And I smoked half a joint this stuff. I was so stoned on stage, I told the same story twice in a row. Very embarrassing. Very embarrassing. That's why I don't smoke pot before I go on stage anymore. Never, never, never. Because the last time I did it, I got so... He talks so fast, half of his lines look dumb. Oh! <laughs> Hello, Department of... Ah. Socialist pizza. Everyone helps make it, but nobody gets any. Anyway, oh, I'm working hard up here. Look, I'm sweating. Little beads of sweat. I'm sweating like Lindsay Lohan at a sobriety checkpoint. Whew. Sweating like Michael Jackson at the daycare center. You know what I mean? Michael Jackson. The hell was Michael fuck? Jackson touching those little kids? If he was black, he would have been in jail. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, even albinos went up to him. What the hell? Hey, have some sunscreen. Eight billion. The cops raided his house. They found a whole, a whole bunch of old noses. 1990, 1989, 1987. Uh, it's just crazy. I'm sweating like Bill Cosby on the witness stand. I tell you, it's hot up here. Bill, Co we make stars out of some freaky people, man. Woody Allen is. 
I gotta go now. My wife's having a first period all on my 85th birthday. What the f*** is up with this dude? Oh, man. I love him, my hey, God. pretty girl over there. How'd you like a big bowl of new sleepy time jello with the roofies and the quaaludes and the date rage rubs with the raven and the accuser and the denying and the d -d 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 -d. I like pudding. I like ch What is funny about this? And I like putting my dick where it doesn't belong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take that. Oh, great. He's going on about pudding. Uh, woo. People are laughing on this side and the Republicans on this side. Okay, anyway. Uh, where's your MAGA hat? Nah, nah. MAGA. Mexicans always get across. Ha, 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 ha. Speaking <laughs> of politics, I met Joe Biden the other day. It was a touching experience. Hey, hey, leave me alone. Hey, I thought you were four. Anyway, uh, stop it, Joe. Stop it. Stop touching me. Oh, boy. Well, I'm just assuming that was Derek clapping. Boards. My good friend couldn't be here. I'm going to do an impression of him in a minute. Uh... He was, I thought he would have, he would have been don't. a great actor. He would have been a good comedian, too. I'd love to see uh, Al Pacino doing stand-up comedy. That would have been pretty cool. Hello. Hello, is this mic on? Is this freaking mic on? This is Al Shecky Pacino with a funny comedy joke for you, and you better friggin' laugh. Who this is not the first time he's done this. He did this one other time. Doesn't own a casino. A Mexican. Hua! That's Whoa. friggin' funny. I'm telling that joke to Lemkin. What's the opposite of Christopher Reeve? Christopher Walken. Hua! That's a funny friggin' joke. Let's see. How can you tell when your house has been broken into by an Asian burglar? You get home hours later, your kid's homework has been done, your computer's been upgraded, and he's still trying to back out of your friggin' driveway. Hua! I, got, I am just waiting for this guy's eyes to bulge out of his skull. I got a joke for you. Guy breaks into a sperm bank. There's one woman teller working there. He's got a mask over his face. He's got a gun in his hand. He puts it to her head. He says, open the vault. She goes, sir, it's not that kind of a bank. He goes, I know what kind of a bank it is. Open the friggin' vault or I'll plug you. Woman teller opens the vault. Guy says, take that third vial of sperm down from the second shelf, the big one. She takes it down. He says, drink it. He goes, what? He goes, drink it or I'll plug you. Woman teller drinks the vial of sperm in one big gulp, puts it down. The guy takes off his mask. It's a husband. He says, now that wasn't so difficult, was it? <laughs> Fuck you. Who won? Who won? I'll tell you a couple more jokes. Who are? No, I'm good. I'm good, man. Little Japanese girl, 70 years old. It's in the first grade. Oh, it's been in America for two weeks. Teacher says, class. Who can tell me who said, give me liberty or give me death? No one in the class knows. Silent. Little Japanese girl raises her hand, says, Patrick Henry said that in 1776. Teacher goes, very good. That's the right answer. Then the teacher says, now class, who can tell me who said, ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. Once again, the class is dead silent. No one knows. Little Japanese girl raises her hand again, says, John F. Kennedy said that in 1961. Teacher goes, excellent. That's the right answer. Then the teacher admonishes the class. Says, class, that's why I'm disappointed in you. All of you. This little girl has been in America from Japan for only two weeks, and she knows more about American history than everyone in this room. A voice from the back of the class yells out, that bitch can suck my dick. The teacher says, who said that? Little Japanese girl says, Bill Clinton said that in 1996. Thank you very much. Thank you. Da, 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 da. Okay, okay. That was kind of funny. Ah, thank you. Had to do his own outro music. How sad. When it comes to movies, having a hot actor is great business sense. You know, a lot of the ladies love to have a good hot actor in the film. Even some of the guys nowadays love to have a, a hot actor in the film. You know, it's all good. Hey, Derek. I thought this wasn't woke. We, but we are here to announce the hottest actors of this year and the 420 Awards hottest actor nominees are Robert Pattinson, Colin Farrell, Tom Cruise, Nicolas Cage. Nicolas Cage. Please, please tell me they picked the f***ing Vampire's Kiss picture. <laughs> no, no, end it on that last picture. Robert Pattinson. Hey, all right, let me grab this nice award, award over here. 
And for Robert Pattinson, I tell you what, you know Mr. Pattinson, don't you? We're best friends. I've known him since the 40s. Oh, wow. I tell you what. So I'm going to go into that shoe and take this award and hand okay. it to Mr. Pattinson himself. I'll be happy to. Robert, I'm coming. This <laughs> guy just cracks me up. Stephen Pearl, everybody. And I tell oh you what, God. we got oh another God. special treat. We got another special treat coming out here. So if you like illusions, oh, man, we got somebody magnificent. Bill Cosby. Nice to have. Hey, it's here. great, you. you. Frankenstein? That's solid steel. It doesn't come, doesn't come apart or anything. It's solid, right? No, it's, All right. that sucker is solid as a rock. Right. Oh, there's my singing song right, right there. What? So, my question is, would you hold your hands out like you're getting ready to drink some water? Because I'm going to okay. test gravity here. What happens if I let go, Derek? Uh, it falls into his hand. If we have somebody with a helping hand, things wow. basically catch you when you're falling. I, I could do that shit. If I had some beads with me, which I don't. Now, what I'm going to do is something that no other magician has ever done. A card trick? What I am going to do is cut the deck, literally. That's a small knife. My knives are a lot bigger than that one. <laughs> it's not a dig measuring contest, Derek. It's not the size, it's the quality of the blade. That's right, okay. Do you even call them out that it doesn't matter how big the f knife is? Don't cut your hand now, I don't have insurance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm broke! All right, would you agree that hold the knife from the bottom, is that through the deck? It's through the deck, man. All right, it's through the deck. Now, that, now check the, the blade. It doesn't push into the, it doesn't push into the, into no, the it thing. It's solid blade, blade, right? Okay. Solid blade. Uh -huh. I'd like you to gently take that knife out, close it safely. That guy better f***ing run! Cup your hands like you're about ready to drink some water. And I'm going to pour the rest of the cards into your hand. You ready? Derek done f***ed up. That's a block of steel. That, that sucker almost poked my finger right there. Excuse me if I said a bad word. I'm going to leave it out. You know, since this is written and edited before it's released, I'm just assuming that there was a deck of cards in there, but then he, like, cut it to where he could put the block of uh, metal or whatever the f*** it is in the box. So now I shall disappear. Oh my God, where'd he go? In movies, an actress contributes a large part of the movie's popularity. And I am personally enjoy it when that actress is hot. And for the 420 Awards, favorite hottest actress, our nominees are Sydney Sweetney, Margot Robbie, Megan Fox, Caitlin Deaver, Deaver, Caitlin Deaver, and Zoe Saldaya. Zoe Saldaya. I don't know who that is. And wow, I tell you what, I love seeing those clips. What clips? For the winner of the 420 Awards Hottest Actress that is... Oh, wow. It's me, Darius. All right, all right, thank you. All right, check this out. Everybody, it's Dirty Dog singing coronavirus. It's a scam. Come on out here, Dirty Dog. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why is he dancing like that? I'm Dirty Dog, and I'm the baddest there is. My coronavirus rhyme. Are the best there is. Kids are so dumb and adults are too. I'll cough in their face just to scare them. Yeah. All the smart dogs know. Corrupt. Why is he dancing like this? This is so weird. Before I sheet and let the media politicians lie to them. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I thought coronavirus was gone, Derek. For kids all week. So the song's outdated. Yeah. Is he trying to floss? Hold on. How come I haven't been on YouTube for a year yet, but I'm already reacting to this twice? Punk, punk, coronavirus is 
it does. Yeah. Okay, remember in my Cool Cat Fights coronavirus one where I said, I want Dirty Dog's dance to become a TikTok dance? I mean it this time. Do that sh Find Cool Cat so I can bully him. They say he's the coolest, but he's just a silly cat. I like to bite children and make them bleed. But for now, I'll cough on them and pollute them with COVID-19. That's new! Jesus Christ! Coronavirus, coronavirus, it's just a- Um, I would just like to say right now, this book that I made, I promise you, no one dies in it, and also, it was never made to make fun of school shootings. It was only to make fun of the idea of Cool Cat Stops a School Shooting. I'm just saying that because what the f dirty dog? That, that escalated. A scam. Before a sheep and let the media politicians light up. You can't see dirty dog. Coronavirus, coronavirus, it's just a scam. But it's the best tool to keep the dummies down. E. Down, E. Dirty Dog got some moves this time, though. Oh no, do not say it again! Bum bum punk! Coronavirus is a scam! Bump the mic, nothing happened. I'm out of here! I'm out here, bitches! Oh wow, what a performance that was! I mean, Dirty Dog literally blew the roof right off the, off the house right here, guys! Did that really happen, Derek? You would show us! I'm sorry, like... Dirty Dog wants kids to bleed. And he just took right off, man, with that dirty dog style right there. Dirty dog style. Everybody, please put a big hand together for Mr. Isaac Israel. Come on over here. What's happening, buddy? Yeah. Oh, this guy. The one normal guy, I, I think. I tell you what, we're going to announce the 420 Awards Favorite Male Singer Award. Our nominees are... Ed Sheeran, Bruno Mars, Drake... Elton John. Elton John. You know that new up and coming singer, Elton John? All right. And the favorite male singer award is. And the. Whoa, what was with that cut? Elton John. To get that fabulous award for Mr. Elton John, we have one of the finest celebrities in Las Vegas by far, everybody. I am so happy to have. Everybody, it's Blunt Boy! Wait a minute, did he say blood boy? That looks more like a cigar, or a piece of sh you, thank you! Happy to accept this award. Oh, wow, that was fantastic. I knew Blunt Boy was going to be just a big old hit. Yes, sirree. Can I add a uh, letter to hit? And I tell you what, we're going to go on and jump into our next award, and that is the 420 Awards favorite female singer. Oh, yeah. Women have by far performed some of the best songs ever. And the passion that some females can deliver will melt your heart. Oh, I see why he's getting this guy to help him. He talks like a normal human being. Come on, you should have put a picture for cats. And the winner for the 420 Awards favorite female singer is... SpongeBob! Dua Lipa. Wait, hold on. hold on a second. I actually know Dua Lipa, Derek. Oh, wait a minute. What did I say about this guy being a normal human being? Never mind. That's right. And it is the 420 Awards favorite song award. That's right. Ceilings by Lizzie <laughs> McAlpine. Coronavirus is a scam by Dirty Dog. I drink wine. Calm Down by Rima and Selena Gomez and Sunshine by Steve Lacey. I actually have no idea how old some of these songs are. 
<laughs> that 420 award trophy. Oh my god, there were dirty dogs goons the entire time. It makes that Oscar award and Golden Globe look like a little bitch award. I agree. Uh, we not gonna acknowledge the fact that Dirty Dog, the villain in a children's thing, supposedly, just said little bitch. Cherish that, because I am. I want that 420 award! For the 420 awards, favorite song winner is... Calm Down by Rima and Selena Gomez. What? This is a scam! And Derek better keep my song out of his fucking mouth! Oh my god! Oh my god! Derek! You... You can't use this character in Cool Kid anymore! You have him cussing like a sailor! Cherish this! Cherish it all! Oh my god! You know, I, 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 I paused it. I'm afraid to see what happens next. I'm gonna get him! Yeah. That's my award! Give it to me! Get him out back here! It's mine! Don't you Will Smith me, you dirty dog! <laughs> Keep my song's name out your fucking mouth! What the f This is the greatest thing ever! Oh my lordy B, guys, I am so, so sorry. I mean, that dirty dog, I knew he was dirty, but I didn't know he was that dirty. That dirty, he tried to pull a Will Smith on me. He, would, he, would, would dirty dog think I'm Chris Rock or something, huh? I would love to see Derek Savage dress up like Chris Rock. You know he do it. Blackface and all. I want to go on and thank one of our great sponsors, and that is... LA pools. You know, Derek, just because you say you have sponsors doesn't mean you actually have sponsors. Which reminds me, this video is brought to you by HelloFresh. I know I have nothing popping up for HelloFresh right now, but get HelloFresh and use code TREV. You've already met him once tonight. You met him on the first annual show. So everybody, please put them hands together for Isaac Israel. Everybody, knock it out. Yes, thank you, Derek. Thank you, Derek. Why is he introducing him again? Yeah. You know, one thing you got to do, uh, you can't do before the 420 awards is smoke a blunt <laughs> while you're trying to get ready to go there. Isn't that the point of the 420 awards? Oh, well, I'm sorry, the uh, 420 awards? Welcome to Cox Cable. Press 1 if you would like to order Cox. Press 2 to verify all the Cox locations in your neighborhood. This guy will smile at everything. My dog just died! I'm so sad! How many of you out there, how many of you out there are seniors uh, when watching this show? No senior is watching this. They have a heart attack. But then when they get to that casino, all of a sudden, all the pain goes away. Back is straight, posture straight. Hey, at least I could catch what this guy is saying. And I'm talking like, hey, what are you wearing? Oh, yeah, gotta go to McDonald's. Oh, my God. 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 Ah! Derek Savage creates a amazing 420 show each and every year. I can't say amazing, but it is entertaining. You know, TV is considered America's favorite pastime. And since it's free, it's some of the best entertainment for the money I'm talking about. But here's all these streaming shows. And for the 420 Awards favorite TV show, our nominees are Reacher. Not free. Stranger. The White Lotus. Not free. Stranger. Stranger Things. Not free. Westworld. Not free. And Yellowstone. That uh, one well, actually is free, I guess. It's it's totally Yellowstone. You know it is. Probably the only show this f has seen. Yellowstone. Ooh, wee oui, wee. Oui. Didn't know that. We'll get this award right over to Taylor Sheraton's production office. <laughs> Whatever. Now this brings us to the time for us to thank our next sponsor. Yes, you know over here at 420 Awards, we love having sponsors. Yes, we do. You guys, we love you all out there. This next sponsor is McDonald's. Go in any day of the week, 24 hours open, you get a cheeseburger and fries.
and that Chase Burgers Deli made by selling smoking marijuana, which you get at the 420 Awards. It is time to go to our next award, and that is the 420 Awards favorite movie. Our nominees are Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent. Massive Talent? Avatar, The Way of the Water. Yeah, highest grossing movie of 2022, Avatar, The Way of the Water. The Contractor. But wait a minute, The Contractor was already nominated for Kick-Ass Movie. How can it be nominated twice? Moonfall. Yes, that better win. And Shark Bait. What the f*** is Shark Bait? It's Moonfall. Doesn't Twitter pick these? It's totally Moonfall. What the f*** is Shark Bait? I've never heard of that. And the winner is... Avatar, the way of the water. You did me wrong, Twitter! Or, fuck, I guess it's X now. And to help accept this award right here is the magician himself, Magnus the Magnificent. Come on over here, Magnus. I am honored to accept this on behalf of the studios. <laughs> I love how this time he came in wearing sunglasses and left immediately as if he went outside for a second to take a smoke break and got his ass beat. He's like, thanks, I'll, I'll, I'll take this to the box. Thank you. It is now time for our most best award, and that is the 420 Awards all-time favorite movie. Okay, so just to remind you, Star Wars sucks. Well, you probably already know, Star Wars. Big Lob Whiskey sucks. The Big Lob Whiskey. And Lord of the Rings sucks. Still don't know which one. Lord of the Rings. It doesn't matter. What sax or color you are? What sax? <laughs> My sax is male, I guess. Wait. Mad Max. Ghost. Die Hard. Goodfellas. And the Terminator. Now, you know what time it is. We're going to terminate some of these clips right now, guys. Jesus Christ. And again, what clips? There are no clips. Those aren't even from Mad Max. Those are from Mad Max the Road Warrior. And the winner for the all-time, the 420 Awards all-time movie is, oh wow, Goodfellows. Goodfellows? He said it right the first time, but no, it's now Goodfellows or Goodfellows. Thank you so much for watching the fifth annual 420 Awards. We have a major spectacular show lined up for next year. Now that all this coronavirus crap is out of the way, we're ready to just start plowing down the road with the 420 Awards. You know, I just thought of this. You know, Derek Savage just loves to cash in on the worst possible things like school shootings and coronavirus. Imagine if he was doing all this shit when like 9-11 happened. I bet you then we would have gotten Cool Cat Stops 9-11. Make that a thing now! Wish you the best. May God bless you. Have a fabulous year, and we will be seeing you next time. Good night from the 420 Awards. Oh, shit, it's over. So wait, did Derek win the award for Goodfellas, or what? I mean, I don't have much of a reaction for this one. It was the 420 Awards. It's, uh... It's terrible. It's entertaining though. Cool cat, the coolest cat. Okay, my bad. I thought I was done. No, there's something in the end credits. I'm dirty dog. Really? I, I couldn't tell. You better watch out, cause I'll bite you on the leg. Oh my god, that dirty dog was drinking a beer for a minute. There's a cat. I didn't realize his name was Cool Cat. Dirty, dirty, dirty dog. I'm smarter than you. Dirty, dirty, dirty dog. I rule the world. Well, that sucked. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, turn on the notification bell, and I'll be back next year with the 16th annual 420 Awards. Seriously, does he have like dementia or something?